first one would be um, an album called Bookends, and it's by Simon Garfunkel. It's a, an album I bought, and I also bought the songbook so that I could learn all the songs. I just loved their that kind of folky sound when I was growing up. Second record would probably be um, Trick of the Tale, which was Genesis' um, first album that was sung by Phil Collins. It was the first record I bought that I could afford when I got a job. And um, I'd never heard stereo before. Everything in our house was mono, so we only had a very old record player. I think my all-time favorite record that I'll always go back to is uh, Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. It's a, the most perfect album there is, I think. But what do I know? That's more difficult. It depends what I'm doing, really, on a like a remix project, then I tend to reference a lot of new techno music. It's not necessarily one particular artist. It's more about listening to production techniques. So I'll download, um, you know, maybe what's, in the, what's on the Beatport top 10, just to get ideas, really. I think it's really amazing what people are doing with synthesizers now, things that I would never have dreamed of doing. I couldn't say that it's one particular artist or three particular artists. When I remember that the most fondest memory is seeing The Cure at a festival in 1978 in the UK. And they weren't the main band, they'd only had one album out, which was Free Imaginary Voice. And on the same festival, Peter Gabriel played, The Police played, and Genesis played. And Peter Gabriel actually sang with Genesis for one song, which that was the most special, special event that I ever saw. That one was... Uh, Reading Rock Festival, we all camped out, you know, we had tents and stuff. And the toilets were absolutely disgusting, but it was an amazing experience.